I want to talk about something that would put up massive numbers. If last night's game between Iowa and Michigan was on ESPN, I think the numbers would have been gigantic. Crushed. Now, I watched on Peacock. Caitlin Clark is a stone <laughs> cold dog. I mean, the first eight points are the record breaking points. There's a chance that she could be a little tight. You know, a little bit sure. nervous. Obviously, everybody is in that arena. Everybody that's watching that game. History is literally watching her play basketball. And in moments past, wherever that situation has arose in many sports, maybe a little bit overthinking. And in, in something like basketball, shooting basketball, if you overthink, you're a little bit tight, you can miss. She, she had her best game yeah. she's ever had mm -hmm. as an Iowa Hawkeye. Puts up 49 points, has 13 assists. She would have had a bunch of rebounds if she wanted to hang out underneath the hoop more. She pulls up from the logo to break the record. Splash. It's like she is a killer. She is stone cold. She's a savage. And she is maybe one of the greatest mental competitors that I've ever watched play a sport, A.J. Hawk. It sure feels like that. I mean, the, the announcers were talking about that throughout the game. Like, how has she handled all of this? Like, all of the extra attention, all of what's going on. And she just seems, what do they say? What's the old saying? Wait, why is beyond her years? Like, she's only 22 years old. This was awesome, too. And she got fouled. Like, well, she had 18 points within the first time. Like, five minutes 23 of the game. 23 points in the first quarter. 20. She was on pace to score 92 points in a night in which people were wondering, like, how will she handle history being right around the corner? It's like, best game she's ever had. Best <laughs> yeah. She's going to have the best game she's ever had. Vinny, this is perfect for you to talk about because I view you mentally as one of the most clutch humans to ever exist. Not just sports, but just exist. Whenever you watch somebody like her perform in the pressure moments that she's had, obviously you have massive amount of respect, but do you think she's just born with this? Like, is that something that you were just born with, you think? Yeah, she's so impressive. I mean, like, to watch to watch that and to watch her, what she's done over her whole career, it's amazing. And do, do I think at, at some point when she was a little girl, was she just that much more mentally tough than most? I would say yes. I would definitely say yes. Has she developed it even greater as she's developed her game? Probably. I mean, the more you work, the more the more time you put into it. But yeah, she she just walks out on the court knowing that she's the best player out there, and and, and she has a lot of swag and a lot of oh. confidence, and it's just impressive to watch that because, like like you said, huge moment for her. She knows that like this is an uh, this is an opportunity, and completely unfazed. Does not care. Does not. Care. No nerves. Yeah. No tightness. Plays her best game. It's like. That's whenever some people can get rattled. Instead, there's only a few amount of humans in the history in those situations that just somehow get even better. It's like yeah. she's not a human. I am a massive fan of watching her play basketball. Yeah. She's going to be a total rock star in the WNBA as well. She's yeah. going to go out there. And, yeah, yeah. Here in Indy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and she's just going to throw up 50 points a game too. I mean, like, like she's that special. I got emotional. They did a uh, they did a Caitlin Clark celebration afterwards where like her family and ex-teammates and everybody like kind of sent a message. Watching her watch that, you know, was like a cool thing yeah. because I feel like she's probably a human and now I got to be around one of them. Me and mm -hmm. Adam Vinatieri watching them where it's like, what it doesn't, what have you done? Like, what's next? Yeah. Like, we got to focus next on thing. whatever's next, whatever next. It's almost like last night she did take a moment to, yeah, she like even got teary eyed watching it. And I'm almost getting emotional because the amount of work that this girl has put in to get to this uh -huh. point, the amount of parties, hangouts, relationships, mm -hmm. things that everybody else was able to go to, she missed them. You know why? Because she was putting up shots in the gym so that whenever she has history on the line, she just pulls up and bangs it home. It's like that moment of celebration like made me emotional watching. I'm like, hey, Way to go. You know, like, like way, you, you've earned this, Caitlin. You've earned it. At the age of 22, the amount of sacrifice she's put in to be this person, you don't really get to see or hear, but you know has happened. It's like last night, I hope she got a chance to really take that all in. You know what I mean, AJ? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's probably hard for her in the moment. Like, you know, she's, like, she's a killer, so she's like, what's next? But, yeah, it's cool to see she actually getting emotional watching that. But I'm sure she's on to the next. I'm sure she was already up yep. shooting this morning, probably got up 500 shots this morning that's what they those like the great ones seem to do but at one point in the uh, broadcast i heard the, them try to say well you know it might take her a little bit to uh for like the she might struggle a little bit to transition into the WNBA." and i was instantly thinking i don't believe that to be the no case. yeah uh like she can no. shoot from everywhere her one teammate said like uh she's the greatest player on earth 
Like this isn't a yeah. this isn't like a college basketball you, thing. She's the greatest player on earth, and they're like, well, that's a little crazy to say for a coach. Like, yeah, but you don't watch her in practice. Like you don't you haven't seen her in practice. You have no idea. And in the biggest moments, she plays the best she can play. She sets up her own shots. She moves Big. differently. Mm-hmm. She's she, passes, she sets her teammates up. So oh my goodness, some of the passing she makes. Like I think I mentioned it yesterday on the show how how good her passing is. And then last night, boom! If she's not scoring. She's setting up a teammate with an unbelievable pass. Full speed, pull up. She plays like prime Steph Curry. Yeah. Like watching last night, I was like, yep. oh, I'm just watching prime Steph. Like like the way, where she shoots from, how she how she works off of ball screens and stuff like that, creates her own shot with step back, stuff like that. She's She plays just like prime Steph. And she also, I watched, and I don't know how common this is. Sue me, I'm just getting into watching mm-hmm. women's basketball because of Caitlin Clark, because of Angel Reese, because of South Carolina. Like, that last March Madness, I was like, was sick. I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch this. This is good. So this season, I've been watching it. The Angel Reese not playing for a while. I still she's don't know. She's back. Okay, she's, she's back, back, which is she's good. Back. But Caitlin, in this, I don't want this to sound sexist. Okay. We should dump that because no matter what I say, people are going to say <laughs> yeah, exactly. because I said that. Dump that but I don't, I don't see this as much, and I'm very casual. Last night, ball going out of bounds. She jumps, grabs that thing. She's throwing that ball as hard as she can at the girl that's standing in front of her from the other team. I'm like, hey, that's pickup. That's str- I, 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 didn't know, I didn't know that happened in women's college basketball. I had no idea it took place. Like, she is a Stone Cold killer. killer dude. Yeah. <laughs> she is an absolute yeah. killer. And it's like, I'm pumped she's going to be a member of the Indiana Fever next yeah, year. Yeah, well, that's what I was about to say. This is, like, for the WNBA, this is like a Wemby-type figure coming into oh, yeah. your league. Like, that is the exact same amount of hype as, you know, what Wemby is bigger. going through now it's with bigger. the Spurs. Yeah, even bigger. Because, she, you know, she's changing from, the whole sport. From the United States, changing the whole sport. If she doesn't come to the Fever, I, it is going to break my heart. I'm going to yeah, we forever. need these Hawkeye fans who we got a lot of respect for. Have to. We got a lot of respect for Hawkeye fans. Obviously, we got a diehard one that normally sits right over there. Why, why can't we just celebrate the moment instead of we one more year? Yeah, yeah come on. So. Let, let the girl yeah. grow and live, I okay? She's going to destroy the state of Indiana if she doesn't come play for the Fever. I was laying in my bed watching that, watching the whole thing happen, and I hear them start chanting one more year. I'm like, shut up. Yeah, shut now. Up. Do not. Stop it. Do not be doing I'm, that. I mean, and that's least, strictly as somebody that lives in Indiana. Yeah. Probably the head coach that started that chant. So probably. The, the head coach, they, they interviewed a lot of people. Listening to the head coach, and I should definitely know her name. I don't. But she, um, I apologize. She's a great head coach. She said, I had to change the way I coach because of Caitlin Clark. You know, and I, I don't know what that meant, but yeah, I would assume that that's the case. And shout to the Indiana Fever because they're going to change the way they play, what? way they coach, what? way they market, what? way they do everything what? whenever she comes here. And uh, at halftime, they asked her, you know, like, how do you feel about breaking the record? She said, cool, we need to play better defense. And then she went yeah. in there. Like, that was – and then at the end of the game, she said, yeah, this has all been very fun. Thank you. We got a lot more games to win. And then said, let's go, and then walked off. It's like – She's the perfect leader. Yeah, uh-huh. and, supposed to win it all. And they need to win it all, don't you think? Have to. Yes. Yeah. That she has that. She knows. You know, that is because I posted about her last night about the 23 points in one quarter whenever she had the whole world watching pretty much, seeing if she'll break this record. She's on pace to score 92 points. Ah, uh, how many natties? That's all anybody. How many natties does she have? How many natties sure. does she have? She hears that. If Hell she's yeah. anything like what we think she's like, yeah. she hears all of that, and it's like, why not the Iowa Hawkeyes going on a run to win a natty? Yeah, year? and v- Vinny brings up a point. He just wrote it down the board. Her NIL is just so <laughs> high. That is why there is that chance where... Well, that's what... I, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, no, no, no. But, but that's exactly no, right. You like, actually told him to say yeah, that. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. He well, interrupted you. <laughs> no. I was just saying, what's her NIL deal versus her salary for the, for, so, for so, the people? So we you talked know. to Chad La- Liska... Oh, Co. Yep. Yep. Lystico. La- Lystico uh, from the Des Moines Register uh, yesterday. Very great conversation. He's covered her, obviously, since she's got there, even into high school, because he's uh-huh. been over there in Iowa. He said she's got Gatorade. That'll transfer over. She's got Nike. That'll transfer State over. Farm. State Farm will transfer over. So, like, uh, she does have a bunch of deals. I would They'll assume she's go got Iowa them. deals as well. They'll stay. But those deals. And more. Yeah, like, if it's, okay. a, car, if it's a car dealer in Iowa, 
like Indianapolis, there'll be oh, right. there'll be right people yeah. here too. Yeah, there'll be Indianapolis. They're throwing everything at her though, don't you think? They're they're whatever collective, whatever they're doing, they're trying to put a package together to make it enticing to come back. And if she does play another year, her record will never be touched. I think they're trying no. to get her to play quarterback too for <laughs> Iowa's football team. Sure, <laughs> would be good. They would have won the Big Ten this year if she Probably. played quarterback. They would have scored more for sure. <laughs> Absolutely, she is a weapon. Bro. No, I, I am serious. From a strictly competitive competitor standpoint, sure. Like I, I like watching greats be great. I like learning why greats are great. I like watching competitive people showcase their greatness. Like I, enjoy, that's why I enjoy sports so much. That's why sports are the greatest thing of all time. Like sports obviously unify people and bring people together that wouldn't normally see eye to eye to cheer for a thing and give people hope and optimism and all the different emotions that you can experience through sports. But also you watch like a meritocracy happen right in front of you. You watch hard work pay off. You watch greatness take place in front of you on display live in person, not behind the scenes, not in a boardroom, not with like a chance to edit or anything like that. It's like live your work. Did it work or did it not work? And it's like watching her, it's like, hey, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it was all worth it. It was all worth it, Caitlin. Keep on going.